if you're having a tough time picking the right website building platform for your online business, newsflash, you are not alone. There are a lot of good options out there making it that much harder to simply pick one. In this video, I'm gonna cover two of the most popular website building platforms, Wix and WordPress. Note, yes, here at Thrive Themes, we build conversion focused plugins for WordPress, but make no mistake, I'm going to be covering some great functionalities that Wix has to offer over WordPress and vice versa. So I'm gonna to try to be as objective as I possibly can. All right, let's jump into it. Both platforms offer entrepreneurs like yourself a wide variety of features to build a thriving online business. So I'm gonna compare them based on the following key principles. How easy are they to use? How easy are they to customize? How many plugins and applications are there available for us to further expand the functionalities of our websites? How easy is it to blog and rank content on those search engines? and I'll touch a little bit on customer support and pricing for both. A really quick and last note before we start, Cheapo wrote an amazing article covering these two choices. The link is in the description box down below. If you want a more in-depth analysis and comparison, please be sure to check it out. And if for some odd, strange reason you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet and you haven't hit the like button on this video, make sure you do that. Okay, I think we can get started now. All right, so first let's go over what each of these platforms are and what is their primary use case. WordPress is a content management system and I've personally used it to build all sorts of different websites, business websites, blogs, e-commerce stores, portfolios, membership sites, online universities, and you can pretty much build anything that you can possibly think of. I mean, to give you an idea of how versatile WordPress is, it powers 43% of the internet today. It's that good, it's that powerful. Wix, on the other hand, is a website builder designed to help people with little to no technical experience. WordPress is also known for being way more flexible and giving users freedom to customize their websites however they wish, but Wix is known more for its convenience and simplicity. With Wix, anyone can get started immediately without the need for coding knowledge or without having to hire a web developer. And so far, this has worked out pretty well for them. Okay, let's talk about ease of use. Getting started with Wix is super easy. You literally click on the main call to action button on their homepage and it automatically takes you to the Wix wizard, which will ask you questions about what niche your business is in. And it also offers you some features that you may want to add onto your website. You fill out some business details and boom, in about half an hour or so, you can be pretty much completely set up. Getting started with WordPress, on the other hand, isn't as straightforward as it is with Wix. First, you gotta find a good hosting provider. Don't be intimidated by this. This is something that really scares off a lot of people. It's going to give you a lot more freedom down the road to customize your online infrastructure. Plus today, there's like literally plenty of different hosting providers to pick from. You've got WPX, you've got WP Engine, you've got SiteGround. And it's also important to note that most hosting companies today will pretty much do everything for you in order to sign you up as a customer. So yes, you first need to find a hosting provider that specializes in WordPress, and you can literally ask them to install WordPress for you, and then you will be free to just log into your WordPress website and start playing with it. So yes, in terms of ease of use, Wix has the upper hand over WordPress. Their dashboard is optimized for easy navigation and quick execution. And WordPress does have a steeper learning curve since users need to follow more steps before getting started. But let's jump over to customization. Customization wise, spoiler alert, WordPress wins. With Wix, you get over 800 free templates to design your website. These templates are categorized by industry and they come pre-filled with example content to give you a clear idea of what your final website could look like. You can then of course use Wix's built-in theme editor to tweak your website design. You can change colors, you can add in new sections, you can rearrange blocks as you see fit. But big warning, one big disadvantage that Wix has is that you can't change a template. 
Once you've selected one, you can always customize the one you've chosen, but for some reason you cannot switch to a different template. Like I said, WordPress clearly wins here. There's over 9,000 free themes available inside WordPress and probably close to, if not more, the same number of premium third-party themes. But if you want complete design freedom, and this is where WordPress gets super exciting, you should use a WordPress visual theme builder like Thrive Theme Builder to craft a WordPress theme that perfectly fits your branding. This is literally super easy to get done with Thrive Theme Builder. In under 20 minutes, you can have a theme up and running and you can customize it down to the pixel. Just to give you an idea, I've been able to replicate themes like the New York Times, Apple, Abercrombie & Fitch, all without writing a single line of code. You simply can't do this with Wix. When it comes to plugins and apps, to keep it short and sweet, let's just say that WordPress wins. There are almost 60,000 plugins that you can pick and choose from to customize your online business. However, there is one thing that Wix does pretty well, and I'm actually a big fan of this. Wix, as opposed to WordPress, prioritizes quality over quantity, meaning there's about 300 apps that you can install on your Wix website to expand its capabilities, and they've all been vetted and marked as safe for you to use. With WordPress, on the other hand, yes, there's like 60,000 plugins that you can pick and choose from, but you're pretty much on your own here. You have to make sure that you're not installing plugins for the sake of installing plugins. A lot of free plugins may not have been updated in years, and this may lead to potential security problems. So yes, you wanna make sure that before you install a plugin, on your website, you've done a little bit of research on who the team behind the plugin is and whether they're still actively updating it. Let's move on to blogging and SEO. WordPress is miles ahead here. I mean, it is a content management system, which is why every reputable blogger out there uses WordPress. Let me talk a little bit about the things that I don't like about Wix in terms of blogging. One of the downsides of blogging on a platform like Wix is that the comments functionality is just not as robust as the one in WordPress. It's also not as easy to manage as it is on WordPress. And if we dig a little bit further in, I don't know why, but you can't backdate a post and you also can't create private posts on Wix. I'm not sure why. The post editor itself is also kind of really basic. The sidebar only features standard element options like adding text, adding images, or adding image galleries, but that's pretty much it. The only real two advanced options inside Wix is the possibility to add a paywall in front of a post, which is pretty cool, and the possibility of adding a product from your store, like you can embed it into a post, which is pretty nice. Now, with WordPress, we take the game to the next level. Here's the thing. WordPress, in and of itself, is already good when it comes to blogging compared to that of Wix. But when it gets really powerful is when you combine it with awesome third-party plugins. The comment section of every post, for example, can literally turn into a forum-like discussion using a plugin like Thrive Comments. And designing blog posts is extremely powerful with Thrive Architect. You can insert videos, images, as many call to actions as you wish, powerful opt-in forms, and you can use different column layouts to create engaging designs for your posts. And if we jump right into SEO, they're both pretty great. I feel like it would be fair to say that with WordPress, alongside a good SEO plugin like SEO Press or Yoast, you have complete freedom over your SEO strategy from top to bottom. I mean, you can create redirections, you can customize your URLs however you wish, you can edit metadata descriptions for your pages, for your posts, and even for your WooCommerce products. But with Wix, you also have everything that you really need to be able to rank good content on Google. It is true though that a lot of people that have worked at Google make a case for Google being a little bit more friendly to pages that are built on WordPress, mainly because WordPress has been around for like 20 years now, and they know the ins and outs of how WordPress websites are structured. So if SEO is important and a pretty big thing for you, you may want to go along with WordPress. When it comes to customer support and pricing, I'll just go ahead and give this one to Wix, mainly because even though WordPress is free, it really isn't. 
you gotta pay for hosting, you gotta pay for a good solid suite of plugins like Thrive Suite in order to build a rock solid online business. And you don't really have customer support per se. I mean, if you buy Thrive Suite, for example, you do get customer support. But if you wanna do things on your own, you're pretty much on your own. Um, if you bump into an issue, you gotta go to an online forum to try to figure it out or something. There isn't really customer support from WordPress itself. With Wix, you get what you pay for it. You can contact customer support um, and you know you're looking at a monthly fixed fee, which some people really like. Okay, so to wrap it up, you should get Wix if you wish to build a beginner's website in minutes or if you don't want to worry about hosting and would rather just have Wix handle this for you. If you don't wanna go through the hassle of vetting which app you're installing on your site, if you want a strong support system, and if you want just an overall safe platform, then I would say Wix is probably a good choice for you. And on the other hand, you should probably consider WordPress if you don't mind the minor learning curve for beginners, if you want a platform that will allow you to scale your business, and if you want the ability and freedom to fully customize your website from the ground up, and if you wish to have complete granular control over your business, then you should probably consider WordPress. That would be it for this comparison between Wix and WordPress. If you do decide to build a rock solid online business on WordPress, please be sure to visit thrivethemes.com. There is a link in the description box down below. We build conversion focused plugins that will absolutely make you fall in love with this platform. I am Tony Lewis with Thrive Themes and I shall see you guys in the next video.